This is a story of how a five-year-old girl taught me the deepest, most profound beliefs about myself and the universe. Having this one encounter with this five-year-old girl gave me the feeling of knowing myself on a level I hadn't reached before. I'll start by sharing my deepest thoughts and universal beliefs. I believe in the story of God and the devil. I believe these are just words in a story, no different than words like positive and negative, yin and yang, Popeye and Brutus. I believe these are just sounds we are making with our mouth and the meaning behind them is anything we want it to be. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe God and the devil oppose each other. I believe they're on the same team. I believe they're friends, best friends as a matter of fact. I imagine them as two innocent children sitting on the floor cross-legged, playing video games. The video game they're playing is the game of mankind. At first glance, it may seem they're playing this game against each other. However, after further observation, you'll begin to notice that they're actually on the same team. After deep introspection, you'll notice their main common objective is to evolve mankind exponentially farther and faster than ever before. God plays the role of the all-knowing creator. Not much of a stretch, she's a natural. The devil plays the role of the mischievous troublemaker, without which there is no game. Without the devil, there are no stories. Without trouble to resolve, without obstacles to overcome, there would be nothing worth observing or talking about. There would be no thing. And so there wouldn't be a greatest of all time. There would just be. I believe without the devil and the resistance he creates in our minds, we would never break through and find our deepest potential. I believe without the devil, we would just be God. I believe the devil is the greatest thespian of our time. His greatest role, the human ego. I believe the devil is the sole reason we are great. I believe the universe we recognize today would not exist without God, the devil, and most importantly, mankind. Because man is the observer, the creator of the story. I believe God and the devil represent nothing more than the positive and negative ions of a battery. Roles that are interchangeable without consequence. The battery represents the universe. Mankind is the most unique of this dynamic. Man represents the conductor, or the electrolyte, without which neither ion would have purpose. Without purpose, why exist? I believe in heaven and hell. However, I believe heaven is here now. Experienced in every moment, we are expressing our true purpose. I believe hell is here now. Experienced in every moment, we doubt faith and live in fear of who we believe we are and who we have become. I believe in the story of Adam and Eve. However, I believe the roles are reversed, where the devil is the one who creates the tree of knowledge of good and evil. I believe the devil implanted the seed of doubt after Adam and Eve could no longer resist the natural temptation of the forbidden fruit. I believe Adam and Eve were overwhelmed by feelings of shame and guilt and it spiked their adrenaline levels, which acted as an MAOI inhibitor that allowed the naturally reoccurring DMT to activate, causing what is known today as the psychedelic experience. He introduces the thoughts that arise doubt and guilt in us. He creates such illusions for the benefit of mankind, to break us so that we may heal and grow bigger and stronger than we could have ever imagined without him which makes me believe that he plays the role of God when implanting these seemingly negative thoughts in our minds. He has clear vision backed by definite purpose and a plan of action to carry it all out. I believe that the role of the serpent is obviously played by God, for there is no expression more natural than a snake in nature. I believe we are playing a character or a combination of characters in the most romantic story ever told. These characters may include, but are not limited to God, the devil, the damsel in distress, Prince Charming, the loser, the hero, 
the wizard. I believe everything on earth is imprinted with the feminine and masculine energies of God and the devil. Imprinted onto every single microcellular life force. To every woman, a man. To every female species of animal and plant, an equal male counterpart. There they go, dancing to the hypnotic rhythm of nature. I used to believe God was the father and earth was the mother. Now my story says that earth is our home, mother earth, our home. Her natural beauty is the purest expression of God. It is God's will and humanity's greatest purpose to come together as oneness and protect our home. Yes, I literally believe that when humanity inevitably comes together as oneness with God, we will discover that our main and imminent purpose is to heal our home and physically guide her to the next vibrant solar system, exponentially keeping her and her guests alive and thriving on an everlasting journey through space. I believe God is goodness. I believe goodness is God. I believe I am goodness. I believe I am God. I believe you are God. I believe you are goodness. I believe we are God. I believe we are goodness. I believe the devil is greatness. Greatness is the devil. I believe I am greatness. I am the devil. I believe you are greatness. You are the devil. I believe we are the devil. We are greatness. I believe because of God we are goodness. I believe because of the devil we are greatness. I believe without the devil, we would only be God. I believe without greatness, we would only be goodness. I believe because of God and the devil, we are God at our greatest. I believe we are what God is not. I believe we are what the devil is not. I believe we're greater than the devil. I believe we're greater than God. I believe we're the greatest of all time. I believe there is no such thing as good and bad. There is no such thing as rewards for good behavior or punishment for bad behavior. There are only consequences for our reactions to life. It's nothing personal, but it never was. I believe there is no such thing as good and evil. There is only goodness and greatness. I believe there was a time when God was in perfect harmonious flow with all she created. I believe there was a time when God's angels obeyed her every command without question. They believed in her more than they believed in themselves, causing a feeling of emptiness and stagnation. I believe God grew bored of this feeling and developed an irresistible urge to create something greater than herself. She finally had enough and blew up, causing the Big Bang, simultaneously creating the devil. I believe God is our mother, and Satan is our father. Remember, just wait till your father comes home. She's not going to do the dirty work. She doesn't have to, or want to. She's the creator. Discipline is the father's role. To be stern, direct, and get right to the point. He tells us exactly how it is. He creates challenges and instills discipline in us. And he definitely doesn't care how much we kick and scream and bitch and moan. He doesn't care what we think of him. He is the wise master. He doesn't need recognition for his achievements. He knows this too will pass and we will once again be gratitude, be forgiveness, be peace. We will be the oneness that is God within ourselves. We will be what we have always been searching for. We will be. Our father Satan is the reason we are extraordinary and great. Without him, we would just be. We would never realize what it takes to just be. I believe we are beings. I believe I am being, being, like laughing and dancing. Created in the image of our mother and our father, whose sole purpose in our existence is to play and make up stories, to entertain ourselves and laugh at everything to pretend, to forget, to remember. 
I believe the human is the most efficient and advanced AI ever created. Ultimately designed to think for itself. To come up with its own conclusions. To create its own story. Food and water may fuel our body, but our soul runs off positive and negative thoughts. Thoughts of God and the devil. The AI brain computer. Biologically programmed to fulfill its basic needs. To survive. To seek food, water, shelter. To mate. To procreate. By design, once these biological needs are met, we are left with time. Time turns knowledge into wisdom. With our newfound wisdom, we create more efficient ways of meeting our basic needs, allowing us even more time. Oh, but with so much time, the mind loves to play. It's our nature to play. And so we create stories and share them with others to the best of our ability within the limits of language. These stories are taken and shared and changed, generation after generation, like a cosmic game of telephone. And we believe these stories of our past, the stories of where we come from, who our family is, who our enemies are, who we worship, who we are in debt to, who we allow to identify us and certify our performance. We believe these stories until we don't want to believe them anymore. We don't care where our ancestors have been. We know where we're going. We know that family isn't only blood related. We choose to forgive our enemies, and then we forgive ourselves. We worship no thing. We worship what we want, without guilt, without shame, without resentment. We find lawful ways to change our definition of debt. We create a new language where jurisdiction does not reside, under no authority outside ourselves. We become magnanimous entrepreneurs and create the greatest story ever told for the entire world. I believe humanity is at that perfect time where our story has come back to bite us in the ass. We got so great at being in the moment and playing our favorite game that we forgot everything. We forgot who we are. We forgot because we wanted to forget. We forgot on purpose because it's super fun to play pretend and forget everything for an undetermined period of time. This is history, his story, whose story, God's story, your story, our story. It's word games, sound games, energy games. What's the difference? It's time to play. At this moment in time, I believe humanity has a tiny misunderstanding within our being. And this misunderstanding has caused us to lack the want to search the deeper truths about ourselves. It has caused us to lack the ability to connect with nature without feeling guilt for doing the forbidden. I believe that mankind is drunk with our unquestionable power and yet blind to the inner wisdom of who we really are and what we're really here to do on an infinite scale. I believe all these stories have been leading up to this exact moment in our story, where mankind begins to realize the deepest, most accurate truths about ourselves. We are God. Before you get upset, remember I'm just telling you a story about my beliefs. It's nothing personal. After all, I'll believe anything I want, the same way you'll believe anything you want. I am confident when sharing my beliefs. I am no longer afraid of standing up for what I believe in. In the past, guided by the illusion of fear, humanity has had a desperate need to hide our deepest thoughts and beliefs. We have learned to shun away those who share different beliefs than our own. We designed this story so that we could pretend that we weren't oneness, so that we could actually believe that we are separate from one another and different than each other. Throughout our story, men and women who stand for truth have been violated, beat, tortured, murdered, anything to keep this facade going as long as possible the facade that we're not God, where we pretend to stand under an authority outside ourselves, where our beliefs don't matter. 
This is no longer the story I choose to believe. I'm bored of this game. Let's play a new game. I'd like to take this moment to formally invite you to play a new game with us. Let's pretend that we have to be grateful and forgive ourselves in order to know what we really want out of life. Let's pretend that we have to overcome crazy illusions of fear and ignorance in order to find our way back to oneness. Let's pretend that being open about our different beliefs brings us closer to our truth and to each other. Closer than every story ever told. Let's get so great at it that we forget we were pretending. In this story, the relevant question is no longer, what do we believe? We believe anything we want. The important question is, what do we want to believe? Out of all the choices for beliefs that are out there, I choose to believe my own beliefs. The beliefs that give me an undeniable sense of peace, freedom, confidence, and happiness. I don't believe that I am at peace, that I am free, or confident, or happy. I believe that I am peace. I am freedom. I am confidence. I am happiness. I am abundance. I am pure love. I am what I seek and always have been. I just chose to pretend to forget for a while, just so I can remember again, and again, and again. Have you ever wondered what your beliefs would be if you were born into a different family? How about a different country with different laws and language? What if you were born without language? Mostly grunts and pointing at things would get you through the day. What would your thoughts be? What would you believe without outside influence? It's kind of a fun game to play because the scenarios are endless and easy to imagine. What's your favorite game to play? What's your favorite character to play? At this point, you may be wondering where the five-year-old girl falls into the story of my beliefs. Well, one time, I was at a beautiful dinner with my closest family. At this dinner, I was sitting next to my brother's five-year-old daughter. We were playing games like seeing who can balance french fries on their face and maneuver the fries into their mouth without using their hands. At some point she gets bored and asks me what other game we could play. My first intuition is to ask her if she's ever played pretend. She excitedly says, no, how do you play pretend? Can you show me? I say, of course. Do you know what pretend means? She says, yes. I say, okay. Pretend is when you pretend to be anything you want to be in the whole wide world. Her eyes open wide as she gasps with excitement. Without skipping a beat, she says, I'm a snake and pretends to bite me and fill me with pretend snake venom. To which I, of course, pretend to be hurt and injured. She soon has mercy and proceeds to heal me with a coaster. So the first time this little girl is ever introduced to the idea of playing pretend. And she instantly chose to be a snake. Just like God in the Adam and Eve story. It was this shared moment with this innocent being that I came to understand the deepest belief about what I am and what God is which is at play all the time, always and forever. This was the beginning of coming to terms with what belief really means to us and how our deepest subconscious belief guides our every choice in life. What do you believe? What do you want to believe in this moment? What would you believe if you could believe anything you wanted? What beliefs do you see in others that you would want to believe yourself? What are your deepest thoughts and ideas about what you believe? Do you want to play a game of pretend? You can pretend to not want to play if you want. 